Now, they say uh, that a dog is man's best friend, and a brand new charity has proven just how incredible the bond between a canine and a human can really be. Opening the doors of its first dog training centre this Friday, Brave Hound trains puppies to become companions for members of the armed forces who are either physically or mentally injured by war. Well, one former soldier who's been uh, the first to find a match is Paul Wilkin. He joins us now alongside former American Special Forces soldier Jason Morgan, whose life has also been changed by a similar similar charity in America and of course both have brought their canine companions Aww. as well so uh, let's start with Paul and we've got Irma uh, oh, in, in front of you Paul F uh, former British soldier served in the Falklands and Bosnia and Iraq um, and you started to have flashbacks but much later yeah yeah uh, combat stress said the average age of a soldier is 40 year old and it's usually 14 years after a traumatic experience mine's was uh, bang on the money I was 40 years old wow. but it was 18 years after uh, I was six months out of the army when it hit me, so... Uh, and the impact on your life has been huge. I mean, you describe yourself as a broken soldier. Very much a broken soldier, but I'm on the up. I'm on the up. Four years ago, I was living in a forest. Uh, really? Yeah, so... Were you... I mean, you, you tried to self-medicate with drugs and alcohol, your, your marriage broke down, you tried to take your own life, so this was incredibly, incredibly serious. You went to a real dark place. So to turn that around to where you are now, sat on this sofa with Irma, what happened? How did the charity get involved with you? Well, it was a, it was a veteran's first point, uh, Karen Hill. Uh, she gave me a, a form to fill in, basically, Brave Hound form. So I, th I, 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 I thought, away the ups and downs of having a dog with PTSD, I thought we'll be able to handle it. Yeah. And uh, I filled in the form, uh, and Brave Hound contacted me within a couple of days, and here we are now. Simple as that. And yeah. so, uh, because money for you uh, was a problem, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so it was difficult to have, have yeah. a dog. Um, and, uh, and you had been on the brink of suicide. Yeah. Um, and you find that people's approach to you has now changed. Yeah, I mean, I've got a lot of good friends and colleagues that still serving. Yeah. Uh, three three engineer regiment, all my amphibious engineer mates, all my friends in Perth, they all rally around me. I've got a very special friend, uh, a girl called Fiona Lees, who in my darkest times she'll pop in and make sure I'm all right. Uh, so Fiona's a rock to me at the moment. Like, uh, so what has Irma done for you? Well, I've only had her Irma ten days, and oh, already wow. she's made such a difference. I'm walking about with a big smile on my face all the time. When I'm waking up, well, when I'm having flashbacks during the night, yeah. instead of waking up really scared, crying and that, I'm getting woken up by her licking my face. Oh, my God. So she's actually waking me up out the flashback. So, so this is a very days. early day. This is only 10 days. Yeah. And I, I'm smiling, I'm happy, it's, everything's good. Well, Jason uh, here as well was in Ecuador in 1999 on a counter-narcotics mission fighting a drug terrorist group, ambushed in the armoured vehicle, went over a cliff and you, you were flipped over, out of the vehicle, rolled on and crushed your, cr crushed your back. Right. Uh, and so, uh, for you, um, your, your first dog was Nepal. Right, Nepal, yes. And uh, is Nepal still with us? No, he's not. No, right. no. unfortunately, he passed away. And oh. so, and so, how soon? Because this is all based on on the American charity model, isn't it? Yes. What's happening here? So, what, what, what? How does it work? How did it work over there for you? Well, um, you know, the same thing. And and Paul, you know, it's tragic. It might be. It's not an uncommon story. You know, with our soldiers and the things that we have to go through. And so, you know, I was injured back in 1999, and and. Um, Within a year, I spent like three and a half years in the hospital, my first seven years, and really just trying to survive. I became a single dad, so I had to take care of three very young boys. So I, I basically just kept going just for my kids' sake, and but it was a struggle every day. You know, it was a struggle not being able to walk in, from going from jumping out of airplanes to a wheelchair, and then, mm -hmm. you know, losing my leg as well. And But when I found out about Canine Companions for Independence, which is an organization in the U.S., um, it was amazing how quickly it turned my life around. It she helps me get dates, which is really nice sometimes. <laughs> it helps you get dates. Yes, yeah, absolutely. You bring a, you bring a, a dog into a, to a pub or something. Yeah, it, it does help. This so. is true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. And, uh, and so yeah. this is uh, this is Rue um, yeah. in front of us here, and we're 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 watching uh, on the VT there as we were chatting the incredible things that uh, that she does. Right. I mean, she really does. She's an extra pair of hands. She's yes. she's your leg. She's everything, right. isn't she? But I think you know more important importantly is that the uh, companionship and that's what Armin's doing for Paul is just having someone there like I, I go through severe nerve pain and 
and you know my flash marks aren't nearly as bad but i have them but but she knows she's she's just comfort it's like i, I call her my battle buddy she's mm -hmm. with me all the time and the comfort and support that she gives me is just absolutely amazing and we're just i noticed that the first day i had her so i you know i trained for two weeks to learn all the commands and everything and so being in a wheelchair I would like go to the grocery store and people would almost like avoid me like I had leprosy or something they yeah. what's this guy in a wheelchair he's probably gonna run over me and doesn't know what he's doing but they didn't know not through um I guess ignorance that they didn't know why I was in a wheelchair they didn't know I was in the military and they just like avoid me like I would go to the store with someone and they would ask the person I was with if they can help them in and never address me the first time I brought my dog into the store in Nepal it was a whole nother life I mean they 180 degree turn like people came up to me they wanted to to see my dog and meet my dog and then return they found out about me and met me and so it really brought me back into society again because it's frustrating feeling like I almost gave my life to for the freedoms of my country and then they almost like yeah. abandoned me left yeah, me yeah, yeah, side. Yeah, so yeah, no, it was that's huge. Terrible. So this is now rolling out uh, here in the UK. How and, brilliant. Uh, it's Project Bravehound as we said launched uh, on Friday uh, at a dog training center in Glasgow and can servicemen and women up and down the country a a apply how if someone watched this and thought oh my god this could transform my life well, what do they do? Well actually Bravehound's just started out it's brand new you uh, I've got the very first pop it's, mo it's more like funding that we need at the moment. Mm. Yeah. It's the funding we because need. Because you're going to need a lot of dogs. A lot of dogs, a lot of, of, lot of Yeah, I mean, uh, and Irma was donated uh, by, by a, a girl to uh, Brayfound, and I, I've, I've had their very first dog, so they've not got any dogs at the minute. Yeah. So we don't want thousands of ex-soldiers inundating Brayfound because yeah. we've not got the idea. So first of all, you want the money, we, we need then the you money. need the dogs, and then you, then you need can to roll, roll it out. out. Yeah. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you so thank much. Thank you for bringing your dogs. They are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much. Thank you.